Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to be doing a video on your rides, subscribers' rides. It's that time again. Uh, before we get stuck into the video, there's three things I want to get you to do, so feel free to pause it now. Obviously, once you've heard what those three things are, of course, is go and get yourself a drink and something to eat because it's not going to be a short one. Also, get yourself something you can write some stuff down on because, uh, well, I've made a note here of uh, things I need I didn't know I needed until I'm watching this video. <laughs> We're going to be going over some sort of 30, 35 cars, uh, everything from stock to crazy modified and pretty much everything in between. You have it all. So, um, there's definitely going to be something you think, oh, that's nice, I fancy that, or I definitely do not want this. Let me make a note of that so I never buy it. <laughs> and thirdly, make yourself comfortable. Now let's get stuck into the intro. Okay, so a few weeks back I asked you all to send me some pictures and some details of your cars, which you all did, and I had quite a good abundance of stuff come in so thanks for that anything that I don't get out in this one I will put in the next one because I did get quite a few to go through so I'll do my best to get it all stuck in um, what I'll do is I'll throw up pictures of the cars as we go I'll talk about them as best I can um, some of them have a massive spec and I'll kind of skip over it a little bit but if you want any more details drop it in the comments and I'll put it all in there for you or of course the person who sent me all the details might also give you a bit more about it. So let's get stuck into it. Number one is Mike. Now this car was originally from Glasgow. Um, previous owner had it only about a year but had done quite a bit to it. He'd done uh, all the V6 touches and a honeycomb grill, stainless exhaust lowered. So he'd spent quite a bit of dough. He also did a bit of painting. He'd done the roof um, like the Quattro Sport and he also did the upper part of the boot lid. Now I'm on the fence about this just because I guess it's not the pillars but to be honest uh, in this picture from the back it does look quite nice and to be honest I didn't notice it until he mentioned it to me. Um, but yeah I mean other than failing on a back road because uh, the alternator went <laughs> for a 17 year old car it's not too bad. He also has an estate just like me. Uh, I think it's probably to compensate for the fact that you can't get a lot in a TT. Um, I tell you what, feel free to send me pictures to our Instagram, to our Facebook of you with as much stuff as you could possibly fit in a TT because I definitely want to see that. <laughs> right, let's move on to number two. Okay, so number two, this is Tom's 180 front wheel drive with 110,000 kilometers on. He's owned it since 2018. Loves the stock look and wouldn't mind fitting a facelift grill, a twin exhaust and a honeycomb diffuser. Um, as you can see, it has winter and summer wheels. For me, there is only one set of wheels I like out of those two, and that is the split BBS original wheels, because I think they are probably the best wheel they come out of the factory with. I'll take any argument on. <laughs> I'm not talking about keeping them clean. I'm just talking about the best looking when clean. <laughs> right, let's move on to number three. So this is Gio's Giovanni. Um, he hasn't really sent me a great deal of information, but to be honest, do we need it? Not really. Look at that. Oh, the Merlin is just unreal. Few little touches. Um, by the looks of it, it's got tinted rear windows. I'm not a massive fan of that just because the visibility out of a TT is crap. Um, <laughs> and with tints, it's, I can believe it's an absolute nightmare. Anyone who's got tints, jump into the comments. Let me know what it's like at night with tints because I know for a fact I've had tinted cars in the past and it is a nightmare. But yeah, the Merlin, perfection. Right, let's move on to number four. So this is Gary, a silver QS. Now this thing is unreal. Um, so he's had quite a few Mark ones over the time, but this is the over the last few years. But this is by far the best. Only done thirty-two thousand miles. You can see it. It looks immaculate. Um, the only mod he's done on this is a BCS power valve exhaust made by Nigel and his team down at St Helens. Um, added to some outstanding detailing work carried out by Ash and Ryan at DTL Detailing at Stokesley, North Yorkshire. Now I can tell, little clap, round of applause, lads. That looks absolutely fantastic. The QS, I mean, do you really need to do much to it? I mean, it's got the rear seat delete. It's got the pole positions, which are just utter perfection for me personally. I'm probably a bit wide, actually. I'm not, <laughs> I've not actually tried sitting in one, so maybe I'll try and squeeze myself into one at Audi's at the park. The exhaust looks the nuts. It's even got the black tips. Trying to keep it in with original, like that. And obviously it's dry stored with a cover, which, well, I'd love to have that option. 
<laughs> so that is a beautiful car. Uh, next, we're moving on to number five, which is Neo. Now, this is a black, what we got here, black 225 coupe. He's owned it for nearly four years, and he's inspired by the channel. Appreciate that. Um, done quite a bit to the car, including wheels, brake refurbs, intake fill, a polished knob. Love a polished knob. Um, and more, keen to do things as time goes by. Yeah, that knob really is shiny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, now the car looks really nice. Black, I mean, this is this is sort of the argument you have, isn't it? Is between keeping it stock and having it look perfect. Real nice. I mean, this is a nice looking car. Um, or do you need to highly modify it? Yeah, I'm on the fence with that one. But yeah, beautiful looking car, Neo. Really like that. Keep up with the channel support, mate. Top man. Uh, number six, <laughs> this one's a funny story. So this is a guy called James. Uh, it's a 180 in silver with a 225 exhaust and A3 wheels, I think. Um, I think there's a cut, yeah, there's, yeah, A3 wheels, yeah. Um, he's only three years. What originally bought for his <clears throat> ex-wife who abandoned it two years ago and has had a lot of damage to it. Um, she put water and sugar in the fuel tank. Um, also curbed all the wheels and blew the turbo and scratches and marks all over the bodywork. But he has done, I'm sure you can agree, a lovely job in getting it back to its former glory. It's a lovely looking car. I quite like those wheels. Um, I'm not sure what they're from. I'm guessing they're A3, just so the stud pattern's the same. But I, th I think they look quite smart. Plus they are really easy to clean, which I'm a big fan of. <laughs> Right, moving on to number seven. So this is Adnan. Uh, it's a blue 225 with a few nice touches. Now, he's got some before and afters. I'm sure you'll be able to tell that. <laughs> um, he's had it since 2016. Uh, he said he went for a spirited drive and the bonnet latch failed. Swung open, smashed the windscreen, and I'm sure the bonnet and the pillars and whatnot. Um, so it's put away for a couple of years, and then he decided during lockdown he really needs to sort of pull it out, get it done. Done some QS-style touches, painted everything, uh, all the grills and that. A custom gloss black. They started sort of making a phantomy color, and then uh, got a bit carried away, and now they don't know the paint code. But you can agree it looks pretty gloss. Um, he's got some f exhaust work from KLR Custom Works, custom map, lowering springs, spacers, program filter, R32 roll bar, baff, K brace. Don't see many of them, and a rear seat inspired by myself. Lovely work, mate. Um, number eight, we got what we got. Number eight, Josh. Um, <laughs> right, I'm not going to tell you where this is from. You can guess by the type of beverage in his beverage holder. Um, so this is, where are we? Uh, fancied a toy to keep him busy while he's at home. He's in the Merchant Navy. Um, so he found this BAM 225, low mileage, one owner, full Audi history, completely standard. So he thought, great blank canvas. Since doing it, he's done V6 touches. He's got the Bowler B10s. Um, he's got my style rear seat delete with uh, these cans of iron brew in. Hint, hint. What country? What uh, what part of the uh, UK is that? <laughs> um, custom three inch back uh, cat back long life exhaust with a non wrench non res with four inch tips. Um, he's got ram air kit, engine dress, boost gauge, springs, and the last picture of is of the car of is his son, who's the biggest his biggest fan slash. The future owner, so that one's going to be staying in the family for some time by the looks of it. <laughs> He's already called Dibs. <laughs> uh, Lexi hasn't really asked me about mine yet, which is probably a good thing, because there's quite a lot of work that needs doing. <laughs> Hopefully it lasts that long. Uh, right, let's move on to number nine. So this is Andy. Now, Andy has his own YouTube channel, Andy Charger, on YouTube. Go check him out. Um, and he's got a TT convertible. He actually has a friend who also has a matching TT convertible. So they are a pair, not a couple, just a pair. Uh, loves the channel. Made his own little YouTube channel um, just to have a bit of a go and try and help out with other things that maybe we haven't filmed between me and Bryn. Owned it for about three years. Picked it up from a, uh, an old couple in South End. Um, keeping it to sort of a standard-ish spec. Keep it nice. And uh, if you want to go and check out some videos, he's just done a video on rebuilding the... Alien Squirters on the Xenons on his TT225. So go check them out on his channel. Details down in the description. Um, let's move on to number 10. So this is Brandon, all the way from the US. Um, 
had this AVA, AVA to grey TT since November 2020. Loves it to death. The only real story that he's got is it left him and his friend stranded on the highway on their way home from college because uh, the alternator slash voltage regulator failed. And the towing them home cost them $800. Now, where on earth was your college compared to your house? Because I could get towed from Scotland down to the south coast in England for less than $800. So either you need to get yourself some breakdown covering the US, mate, or uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, take some food in a sleeping bag with you wherever you go. Try and save yourself some money. <laughs> but now it's a beautiful looking car, mate, and I love the rims. They are probably my favourite, and it's just unfortunate they're only 17s in the UK. Uh, I don't believe they were ever 18s anywhere else, if I'm wrong. I've always let me know. Um, let's move on to number 11. Now, this one, I see this one on Facebook, actually. This is Kyle. It's a 180. Uh, current work in progress. He's got a stainless steel back box delete from PowerFlow. So it's just a piece of tube, I'm guessing. Um, definitely need some sound clips on that bad boy. I saw this on Facebook because he's got some funny stickers in the rear windows. Um, he's been playing with some pin striping, because obviously black car, yellow stripes, will definitely stand out. He's got a tinted rear lights, three-piece front split, which I'm guessing is the universal one, off of eBay, and also some side skirt trims. Uh, got loads of plans for the future, but it all depends on money. Again, big follow of the channel. Thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> keep it going mate looks great black and see black black with any color any bright color with a black really really does stand out um, right let's move on to number 12 so this is ryan now i thought this was a v6 until he told me otherwise um so this is a completely standard car in australia which is classed as an s line because it's a 2006 quattro s line and it's a 225 but I'm guessing because they had a surplus of stuff, they made a sort of a limited end of run edition. And it's got the full V6 stuff. It's got the spoiler, it's got the bumper, it's got the wheels, it has everything. And I mean, result, mate, happy days. Um, been searching for over a year, been watching my videos before I even owned one. Um, only driven a manual a couple of times. I managed to drive all the way home, four hours without stalling, which is good work because I stall mine all the time and I definitely don't drive that far. Um, <laughs> he's his daily driver. Oh, man, I wonder what it would be like to have a TT somewhere where it's really hot with no rust. That'd be lovely. Um, but, yeah, just going to do some simple few mods, maybe some uh, induction upgrades and stuff, yeah. Maybe a little uh, cheeky exhaust, because v 6s oh, with an exhaust, amazing. Um, let's move on to number 13. So this is Jules. He's got a Kingfisher 225 Coupe. Uh, only done 65,000 miles. Very nice. Very nice. It is a nice looking one. This, It's got the... What wheels we got? Oh, my favourite. Beautiful. Got the split wheels. Um, it's a real head turner. Now, he says... I, I think this is quite interesting. We have a little debate about this. Uh, he's always wanted one. Obviously, they're going to be a future classic. Happy days. Um, and he always thinks that TT owners get a bad rap because these cars get treated badly on the road. Um, you don't get let out of junctions. Um, and I, do you know what? I've never had, has anyone else had that? Jump down into the comments. Obviously I've had a BMW before, so I'm used to that feeling, but in the TT, I'm, I may get a few builders beep at me because they think I'm a girl because TT. Tired with that brush. No, I'm not a hairdresser. Clearly. Um, <laughs> but does anyone else have that issue? But yeah, he says, he says the car's not perfect. Uh, he's going to do a few bits to it, but to be honest, I think it looks great, mate. Really nice buy that one. Uh, let's move on to number 14 now. This is a Golf. Uh, I do not discriminate. If you follow the channel, I will quite happily show your car. And this is a lovely Golf. Again, 1.8 turbo, so he knows our pain. Um, <laughs> and he has done absolutely loads to this. Um, DC5 Recaro interior. He's got Stage 1, uh, VR6 clutch, Porsche twists, loads of in-car entertainment. I have not done anything inside my car in probably 10 years. That was literally, when I first passed my test, that was all I did. Straight down Halfords. I need a stereo. I need the biggest sub I could fit in my boot. Then I'd need a new alternator the week after because it killed my alternator. Uh, <laughs> but you don't see that so much now. I guess because the, as the car gets better, the sound system gets better. They have Bluetooth and it's a lot harder to mess around with them. But this, I mean, I'm sure you can agree. I love I love Mark 4 Golfs. I think they're brilliant. Uh, really nice sort of timeless look that. Uh, he's got full custom exhaust, Momo steering wheel, anniversary body kit, stubby mirrors. Oh, Porsche brakes coming next. And he's absolutely loving the channel. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, number 15. 
Who we got now? This is Steve's. Oh, so Steve is greedy. Steve has two TTs. <laughs> um, so he's got one. The Sylph one is getting built to a thousand horsepower weapon. Is the only way I can describe this. Now he's got a big spec list. I'll skim over some of the stuff, but basically he's going full stroke, a Mark V forge crank, pistons, bearings, rods. Oh, massive GT thirty nine ninety turbo. Big power. Um, which he's doing. He's building it himself. That's going to be a sort of a big slog for him. And he's also got a red TT, which he bought as he had sat in the garage for about six years, getting polished every week and never driven. And he stole it for an incredibly low amount. And I won't say it on this video, but it is cheap. And if I'd have got it for that price, I would have also bought it myself, even though I don't need one. Another one. Um, <laughs> but top work. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on you, Steve. So uh, maybe, maybe you'll see a video in the future. Who knows? Let's move on to number 16. Now, this is Tom. I've had quite a few chats with Tom over the sort of the past, I don't know, six months to a year. Um, he bought this one owner full service history main dealer. Good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. You decide. It's a good thing, definitely, because it's a record of having some service in mine. Come with nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, he's got BBS RS2s. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Cambridge Green... I would have said it looks more Goodwood, but I'm not sure whether that's the same thing or not. Um, a lot of people call different things different things. And this he has done, I mean, the list is is a whole one and a half, A4 pages. Um, he's got a big list of all the stuff he's done, quite a lot of stuff that we've all done. Um, PCV stuff, bushes, he's had to do a steering rack, anti-roll bars, spacers, all the kinds of things you do as a TT owner. Um, coming up, this is definitely one to look at. He's going to get gas coilovers, rear subframe, set up sort of all redone skirts repainted dent doctor oh so oz ultra legeras definitely refurb your bbs rs2s and keep them mate because they are gorgeous okay so number 17 uh this is gary so gary sent me nine pictures but only one of them was of his tt <laughs> it'll all make sense in a minute um so he's got a tt called tina tina the tt anyone else called tina um, car was purchased only recently for a friend who constantly wound him up saying, did I know anybody with a 225 Quattro of black interior and a full bow sound system? Uh, well, after he had it sawn and left outside for over 18 months, I parted with a small amount of cash and I now own it. 110,000 miles. And to be honest, yeah, it just looks like a nice, honest, original car. Um, done quite a lot to it. And he says it's either a labor of love or a money pit. I will agree with both of those because they are probably both quite relevant. Again, he's done all of the kind of common stuff that we'd all do. Um, and then moving on to his other eight pictures. Um, <laughs> he also builds and drives what I can only explain to be like F1 style kit cars. Um, it's called a Furo F1. Furio F1. Apologies if that's not correct. Um, and it's a two seat lookalike. Having built numerous cars uh, and in different guises, fully road, legal and usable, been camping in Le Mans and Goodwood in it, half a ton, ZZR 1400 engine with an electronic reverse, three seconds, 0 to 60. Very nice. And he's going to be bringing it along to one of our meets in the future. Yes, please. As long as I will fit in there, I will go in there. <laughs> uh, next, we move on to number 18. Now, this is... Bradley's V6, uh, 2003 V6, VR6 in denim blue, 137,000 miles. Uh, this is his fourth TT, I believe. Uh, bought his first one when he was 21, then sold it. Uh, missed it, so bought another one, but it wasn't in great condition, so he sold it. Then bought a desert green one, which he spent an epic amount of money on and loved. Uh, could never really afford a 3.2 at the time until this one came along. Uh, now, he says <laughs> with every car he buys, they go wrong within the first few weeks. This one, uh, the transfer box died on. So now what I'll say to you, mate, is do not sell this one because this one is lovely. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to buy another one because you're just going to have more beef and, and more problems in the future. And, uh, yeah, just keep this one. V6, I mean, what more could you want, really? Um, number 19, this is Peter's. Now, this, I think this is wicked. This will be a bit chalk and cheese for some people. Um, because I know some people don't like the big graphics, but this thing looks wicked. Golden green is uh, golden green. Golden black is an absolute solid combo, um, and the wheels. I have not seen these wheels in eighteen, 18s? Yeah, eighteen inch camber wheels. K A M B E R camber, um, with the gold lip, gold, 
yeah, the gold barrels, black centers. Big gold stickers down the side. I think this is wicked. And he's also got, if you're paying really close attention, front and rear light upgrades. Um, he's had it four years now, absolutely loves it. Not a lot of engine mods, just because the, the V6s are limited a little bit unless you have an endless wallet. Um, but yeah, I like the touch. I mean, this thing looks immaculate. Top work on keeping that one clean because black is not an easy color to keep nice without scratches. So good work with that one, Peter. Uh, moving on to number 20. Now, this is Niels. We have chatted again in the past quite a bit. Now, this thing is gorgeous. I didn't quite realize the extent of modifying that he has gone to. <laughs> I mean, this has got, uh, what's he got? It had its six years, brief description, V6 front bumper, V6 spoiler, QS front seats, so the pole positions, uh, rear seat delete. Now the wheels are diamond face with green inserts to match the body color, which unless you look close, you don't actually notice. He's got the original mud flaps, which we all know are a, uh, a posh touch. Uh, he's got the Bilstein B6 shocks, apex springs, H&R anti-roll bars, armrest, recovered steering wheel, um, just to mention a few things. Now, as you can see, I mean, you can see it's just a really well kept, really nice looking car. And I would definitely be happy to have that, including that little cheeky front number plate with the uh, front plate delete as well. It's a nice little touch. Um, let's move on to number 21. So this is Justin's. Bought thanks to me. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, what we got is he's had a Mark 1 for nine months, thanks to me. Uh, didn't know what he wanted, just had to be at least 200 horsepower and less than three grand. Came across my channel and, well, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> just a nice, honest-looking car, this one. Um, just, mate, get out, enjoy it. It looks like a lovely one. Um, you got any plans for it? Let us know in the description. Didn't tell us. But, yeah, thanks for sending that in, Justin. Um, let's move on to number 22. And I have completely come out of what I was looking at. Number 22. So this is Kerry's 225. Uh, picked up September 2020. Uh, after using dad's car a few times, fell in love with it ever since, but watching the video has been doing loads of work on it um, and has brought, brought them closer together, which is always nice. Rear seat delete, sports exhaust, window tints. Again, I think they look great, but they are, it must be a nightmare at night. I mean, they're bad enough to reverse and not being able to see where you're going anyway, but um, what else we got? Rear window spoiler, for those who didn't notice that. Um, matching the roof, which is also painted. Um, Headlight eyebrows. Now, this is about the only thing on the car that I'm not a massive fan of. Um, only because, I don't know, it just it reminds me of back in the day. And I think on the TTs, because they're sort of like a a drip shape, the sort of droppy shape, I'm not a massive fan. But again, this is what I love about the car world. It is each to its own. If you like them, that is all that matters. Um, tip and cone filter, alloy wheel refurbishment, repainted. Roof and wing mirrors, carbon fiber, petrol cap, logo delete, loads of great stuff. And again, really high modified car. I can see a lot of money and time has been spent on it and it looks great. Rear spoiler, Mark II TTRS style. Very nice, quite a popular one that. Um, let's move on to number 23. This is Stans, um, 225 all the way from the Netherlands, I believe. Make me pictures a bit bigger, yeah. Um, Nice little combo, this black, big silver wheels. Looks really smart. A pretty stock by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Uh, owned it six months. He's 19 year old, so insurance was expensive. Uh, he's bought the car for four and a half thousand euros, but easily spent another four thousand on maintenance and repairs. I'm sure we can all agree we feel your pain, mate. Uh, alternator replaced, boost leaks, and so much more. But when it works, it's a lovely car to drive. Wouldn't change it for the world. 19 inch RS4 wheels. That's what I was trying to get out. The fact that they've got big wheels against the black, it looks really smart. You can definitely tell they're not 18s. Um, we'll do some upgrades like a one at uh, a remap, front mount cooler, bigger tip, etc. Thanks for all our videos. Appreciate that, mate. Love some channel support. Um, right, let's move on to number 24. So, 24 is Adams. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. If you go to the shows or you've been on Instagram, this is one heck of a car. Um, had the car best part of two years, massive labor of love, I'm sure, mate. Um, air ride, completely needed rebuilding. Oh, so it came with it. Wheels are three-piece, split rims, which also needed a complete overhaul. Car was originally wrapped in a matte copper, uh, but had it re-wrapped in grey. Also purchased a V6 bumper, um, smooth recess plates, V6 spoiler, future plans, 
Repaint the engine bay plastic trims to match the colour of the car. Currently stage 2 running about 275 brake from memory. All, in trims, all interior trims are skinned in real carbon fibre. Gear knob, gator and various plastics retrims in Alcantara. Um, also going for a full boot custom tank holder, boot retrimmed and painted to match the colour of the car. What an epic build. I mean, this thing is, it just looks absolutely flawless. And I'm super jealous. Again, pole positions, of course. Those wheels just look humongous. I think because it's on the deck, it just looks epic. Really like that car. That is definitely one of those ones you print off and put up on your on your bedroom wall, you know. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's move on to number 25. So this is Nick from Down in Devon. <laughs> I love it how people introduce themselves. So this is a he's had it since 2017. Done 100, well, bought it on 122k. It's now done 153. Um, stage one remap, Miltech decal, panel filter, rear seat delete. Um, he did the rear seat delete himself, and it's got a little flap so he can lift it up and stick shopping bags in it or hide things in it that he's not supposed to have bought. <laughs> uh, made the rear bar himself. The net is Mrs. Made. Uh, oh, sorry, Mrs. Mum made, mother-in-law, lovely jubbly. Uh, he bought a Maxton wraparound spoiler, but he's decided to go for a V6 one. Uh, the clutch has started slipping recently, got jammed into third. So Bryn at BWSTT, big shout out to Bryn the man. Uh, came and fixed it for him, put a new gearbox in it, lovely jubbly. Uh, clutch pedal snapped. Managed to get home driving between second to sixth using just the revs of the engine. That is some... Fancy footwork there, mate. Uh, really hoping to get out to one of the meets in the future. Oh, he's even got the little uh, forge armrest. No, you didn't notice that. Beauty. Love an armrest. Uh, again, really appreciates the channel, mate. Thank you very much. Getting a lot of channel love today. Um, right, let's move on to number 26. So this is, I actually got to see this car the other day. Um, so this is Jay at Bouncer's Wax. Um, or Bouncer's Car Detailing Products. They'll definitely be seeing something from them in the future. So, uh Keep an eye out for that. And this is just a really nice convertible. He bought it Roadster. I keep saying convertible, Roadster. Uh, it's got a Tornado, it's got the QS style wheels. It's just a really clean looking car. He's got a few little ideas for it, but um, not too much. Just gonna try and keep it nice for the future now. <laughs> I think this is hilarious. When we was chatting, he was saying, um, a lot of people obviously, cause he's a, a guy in his probably what, late 40s, early 50s. And he was, people would say to him, obviously convertible, Midlife crisis car, and he says, soft top, why not? And the, the response he always gives is, can't beat the feel of the wind ruffling around your bald spot. <laughs> oh, that made me cry. Right, let's move on to number 27. Uh, this is Steve from the USA. Now, he bought this car off the internet. Um, bought in Feb this year. So he's only had it, it's done 177,000 miles. All in all, it's in nice shape. Uh, the person who was selling it said it was garaged, and he thinks it may have been garaged a long time ago, but not any time recently. Uh, Morrow Blue Pearl Effect with ebony interior. Previous owner provided him with loads of warranty inserts, all the original brochures, which is nice. Um, and he was looking for the brake fluid reservoir because I was pointing out how hard it is to find, and he was struggling to find it, then realised because the pedals are on the other side that it was really easy to get to because... In America, they're on the other side, and it's actually really easy to get to, not like it is in the UK, where it's an absolute pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, once it warms up, he's going to do a load of bits to it. He's got quite a few bits to do. He's going to basically just try and make it nice again. Um, 177,000 miles with the original clutch, apparently. Good effort. I guess in America, it's not as bad because you have quite a lot more straight roads, so it's quite easy to pound the mileage without having to use the clutch too much. Um, let's move on to number 28 again from the USA. Uh, this is a guy called Jeff. We have uh, had a few email chats. Um, it's just a weekend car. He bought uh, as a weekend driver and to do Pikes Peak International Ra uh, Raceway, which uh, for some open lapping and time attack. Now, if you haven't watched that, jump on YouTube and type in Pikes Peak. There is some hairy corners on that. That is one heck of a drive. Um, a little background story about his ongoing TT project. It's called Herin, which in German uh, means, interpret something like the well-kept other woman or mistress. <laughs> sure we can all agree that we funnel money away into our second love. Um, rescued the car after the owner had painted it, and then it hailed in Denver, Colorado, damaging the paint. Um, and that's where the trouble started. 
apart, he's replaced the calipers. Well, calipers been painted, suspension, brakes. Um, uh, he's done free cat, three inch D cat, and full exhaust, forge actuator, stage one map. Um, in the future, he's and this is all on, currently on a KO4 turbo. In the future, gonna go for a hybrid, gonna go for 300 to 350 horsepower, hopefully. That's the aim, got quite a few bits to do. And he's also put in a 20 future video request topics. Nice try. I'll certainly add some of them onto there, mate. <laughs> and this is what I absolutely love. He signs off with, and as always, uh, your mate from another state, Jeff. I love that. Love that. Uh, let's move on to number 29. Uh, now, this is gorgeous. This is Nick from the Netherlands. Um, he's a proud owner of a 180. Now, this is not just a 180. Apart from it is absolutely dripping in carbon and it looks absolutely immaculate, um, it's pretty modified. Future plan is to go for 450 to 500 horsepower. At the moment, it's somewhere between 350 and 400. And it's got rods, pistons, oversized. It's got bearings. What else has it got? Big coolers, oil cooler, three inch exhaust, bigger uh, hybrid turbo. And then in the future, he's going to get a custom paint job, some more carbon fiber. No, sorry, I lie. It's already had a custom paint job. I read this wrong, my mistake. Already had a custom paint job, carbon spoiler, carbon diffuser, carbon fuel cap, rotor form six wheels, uh, lowered on custom suspension, full power flex for handling, and probably quite a bit he's forgotten. <laughs> Absolutely loves the channel and really appreciates what I'm doing for the TT world, mate. Thank you as always. An absolutely beautiful car. Again, has... And also an Audi estate because a TT sometimes just isn't quite enough. <laughs> uh, next, we've got number 30, which is Nick from Cyprus. Um, now, this is a Roadster 1.8 Quattro, 1.8 Turbo Quattro, of course. Uh, plans to keep it OEM. Bought in 2017 after fulfilling a dream. Uh, the car was in a bad condition and has already had an engine amongst other things. But those comp wheels, I mean, come on. Just looks epic, man. If you was going to buy a Roadster and not do anything to it, they are the wheels. I mean, in this one picture, it almost looks like a toy car. It is that cool. Uh, loads of red engine bay touches, turbo intake pipe, big filter, candy red looking pipe, strut brace, rocker cover. Looks great, that mate. Really like that. Uh, next, we've got number 31, which is Carlos from Valencia, Spain, uh, with a full Riga kit. Riga? Riga? Um, 2001, he bought in 2017 to restore it and get it ready, get it up to what it should have been. Um, if you need more information or want to stop by in Valencia, Spain to see it and eat paella, give me a shout. Definitely, 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 definitely. Keep your diary free next year, mate. I will definitely be coming over. I am actually going to Spain, so I will come and pop in a cello if I can. But yeah, this thing looks wicked. Big spoiler, big body kit. Quite interesting wheels. Not a massive fan of diamond cutting. That's only because they never last forever. But if you keep it nice, and to be honest, in the weather you have with no salt on the roads, I'm sure it will be good forever. Um, next, we're moving on to number 32. This is Ben, um, Silver 225. Carl's been in his family about six years or more. Uh, driven by his mother until he started learning to drive a couple of years ago. Uh, he's taken off the road and sat on the driveway for the last few months where he's been slowly working on getting it perfect again working up his uh, no year, first year's no claims insurance because in the UK, insurance for like 17, 18 year olds is criminal. Sometimes it can cost you as more as much or if not more than the car itself costs. Um, the car is completely standard apart from a tip and some other silicon pipes just to get rid of some old perish rubber. Uh, rust in the usual spots, but give it a clay bar and it is looking good. The OEM wheels are getting refurbished next week, but he's still battling some small issues. Mate, well, if any problems, you know where I am. Uh, come drop us a message we'll have a chat now this has got half blue leather half alcantara which is quite unusual for a silver car someone spec that it's quite nice when you see where people have specced it weird they put weird things in that you wouldn't expect to see because normally it's just a silver car black interior but someone's uh, paid extra to have the blue heart alcantara which is pretty cool uh, next number 33 we're moving on to Sue's with uh, avis 180 quattro uh, newly subscribed to the channel Thank you. Um, great ride, 2002 180 Quattro. Um, needs a few bits and bobs, a bit of rush shown on the driver's side wheel arch, but nothing major. Um, proud owner for over a month now, loving that. 
Uh, replaced the OE Hemi head unit didn't like the Pioneer one it had. Replaced a few disintegrated pipes thermostat. Uh, and annoyingly, since it's coming back from having the thermostat replayed, the dash is playing up, which quite a few of us can feel your pain. Mine, thermostat and fuel gauge works. Touch wood. Um, <laughs> but none of the other gauges seem to want to play, play ball. Um, funny story, I've been proposed to at traffic lights since having the car. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, we got to know a bit more about that. Were they in a TT as well? Because obviously the answer would have been yes. No? <laughs> I oh, love that. Love that. I normally just get shouted at. Uh, <laughs> right, number 34. Let's move on. This is Chris with his Black Roadster. Uh, between him and his partner, Sean, I've owned it for two years now. In that time, it's had a new clutch, wheels refurbished, turbo intake pipe, ram air filter, and some red bits and bobs to complement the car. New shocks and springs, coolant tank, um, a few other little bits and bobs. Um, quite a nice looking car. It's just a real simple... Yeah, effective black car, silver wheels, few red touches like the calipers, and that just looks really clean, mate. Really nice looking car. Uh, it broke down on the motorway whilst his partner was driving, and also the spring gave way on our way to work. Come close to selling it a few times, but after all the work's done, absolutely love it, and always look for excuses to drive it when the sun is out. I do not blame you. Nothing like getting a sun and neck arm and neck tan. <laughs> Uh, next we move on to number 35 this is Russell's 225 current project um, used to be a daily now this is a story I hear all the time used to be a daily and then I spent a smaller fortune of money on it um, currently waiting for a windscreen for an MOT uh, what have we got a 3 inch um, cap back bigger injectors GTX 3076R turbo from Pulsar along with some coilovers and still trying to find some 18 inch fat fives. Anyone can help him out? Drop him a message. Uh, that's Russell. Um, what we got here? I am building this TT for fast road Santa pod aiming for 500 wheel horsepower. That will be fast. Um, but I may end up having to sell everything soon if my luck doesn't change. Hopefully it does mate. Hopefully it does. Stay strong. We're all with you. <laughs> we all feel your pain. Uh, free SDM wheels were far too wide, never looked right, and once raised, um, they were not acceptable. So we're sold on. South Shropshire apparently is known for poor quality roads. <laughs> I don't doubt that. It's probably something to do with all the rain you get. <laughs> uh, right, last but not least, let's wrap this up. So we've got number 36. This is Sylvian from France. Now, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Save the best till last. Lovely colour combo, Sprint Blue, so quite a rare colour choice. Um, they only did that on some of the later models, from my knowledge. Maybe in different countries it differed, I don't know. Um, and this has got the blue Sprint Blue exterior with a baseball leather moccasin interior. Um, quite a specky car. Um, it's got the Bose, it's got GPS, phone connection, cruise, Xenons, and it come with parabole rims, but it's now currently got the Votex rims on. Uh, bought in late 2008, says had this car some 13 years. Uh, bought it on the <laughs> on the 31st of December 20, 31st of December 2008. That's wicked. Um, only done about 78,000 miles. Of course, the parable rim started having issues. The uh, comps always start to go because obviously they're diamond cut. Um, I have a modified rear turn signal with a dynamic, so that's what I class as the loading lights. Um, and he's going to do with the front on the same, but he needs to remove the front bumper. <laughs> so he's put that one off a little bit. I do not blame you. So it's even, this one's even got the matching um, steering wheel with the buttons. This is a later DSG. It's got the buttons to change up and down gears on the steering wheel, which is quite a rare one. It's also got the Forge-style TT uh, armrest with the matching mox and pad, which is lovely. Love a baseball stitch. Um, so yeah, that is the 36 cars. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, before this video finishes, we will jump over onto the computer in a minute to go through the winner for this month's Parrot Bros merch. So do stick around if you've entered into that. So good luck for those. Um, and if not, thanks for watching. And if you want to send me some details of your car, all my uh, email address and everything for the support of the channel is down below. Uh, if you want any stickers, any t-shirts, any beautiful hats, you know where we are. The uh, And it is the Parrot Bros uk can't miss it we're also on facebook we're also on instagram amongst other things so thanks for watching guys uh, i'll say bye for now we're going to jump over to the screen now to do the giveaway 
Okay, so let's go on to the most important part of this month's giveaway. Now, this is the June 2021 giveaway. Um, we said at the beginning of the video, at the beginning of the month, 6th of June, um, that we'd be picking a winner on the 20th of June for the Parrot Bros merch. Now, that was on the um, Why You Need a Short Shifter video. Thanks for everyone that got involved with that. Um, now, we'll just move over to the prize giveaway and we'll get that all filled out and ready to roll. Um, so in this, you'll be winning a hat, a T-shirt, some stickers, and some key rings. I'll get some all sent out to you in a nice little Parrot Bros branded box. <laughs> um, you just have to let me know what size T-shirt you want and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's input that data onto the comment picker now. And that's using the URL from that video, why you need a short shifter. Now, um, we'll just put that in and we'll see how many applicants we got. We'll also filter out duplicate users, uh, include replies to comments, and we're searching for UK. That was the specification. Okay, so we got 46 people entered. So uh, let's go on and get that picked. Good luck to everyone that got involved with that. Um, and here we go. Good luck, everybody. And congratulations, Spencer Kearns. If you drop me an email, mate, dom at theparrotbros.co.uk, we'll get you all identified and we'll get all that sorted out for you. Um, thanks for everyone for taking part and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.